Hey guys, this is Kevin and Nico from Electric Cowboy. And you're watching Chaos Sign. Hi there, we are in Tuska Festival in Helsinki, Finland. And today our guests are Nico and Kevin from Electric Cowboy. Hey guys. Hi. Uh, welcome to Finland. A bit rainy here. Thanks for having us. Uh, but uh, your festival summer is going strong. Have you any time to rest? Um, well, barely, barely. Barely, but we have some. Yeah. Um, actually, more than than, uh, than being off tour uh, on tour. Um, it's like being away for four days and being at home for three days and going back. And yeah, it's like back and forth and it's pretty exhausting, but we love it. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh, do you have any time to check out any bands in here? Do you usually check out other bands on festivals when you go? Oh, yeah, Absol yes. Absolutely. It's uh, This is one big thing for us on festivals because when we play our headline shows, it's like, yeah, just sitting in the backstage area until we go nuts on stage every day. But uh, on festivals, you can uh, look at the lineup and see, oh, I want to see that band and this band. And also you meet them backstage. That also means getting to know each other and see old friends and new friends. And this is uh, always the good thing about summer festivals and we totally like it. And I saw uh, Lorna Shaw is playing tonight. It's one of my favorite bands at the moment. So you, need, you, need, you guys need to know something about Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, he actually never went to a festival <laughs> in person. Never. So before before the band, so as yeah, a guest. yeah, yeah, yeah. As a guest, so you as found festivals like via absolutely. The band. I, I played my f I played my first fest. Or I saw my first festival as a member of a band. Okay. So yeah. this is ridiculous. I don't know how it is to live in a tent that is all wet, <laughs> so can wet. I'm one of those uh, luxury fans. <laughs> Maybe I'm just sitting in my backstage area. But um, yeah, we're getting wet here, so it's my my first experience as a wet festival goer. Yeah, but it's so cool because when you when you when you have some time and are interested in, um, like Kevin said, um, getting to know new bands or just watching a show, you always have the opportunity to do it, and it's so cool, yeah. really. Um, we found some bands that we we've never heard before, and. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna watch Lana Shaw tonight because uh, they are very good live band. I like I like his singing voice. Yeah, like the. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, you released every time we touch cover like what ten days ago, and it has m much more than two million views or something. Um, what's the response? Did you, did you see one? <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. More than two million views, and um, what's the response have been, and how did you come up with the idea of doing this song? Oh well, um, we uh, be honest. We, yeah, we we be love that song. We love that first song. First of all, and we first wanted of all. to dance in a mu in a, in, a, in a music so video. There was a first version uh, by Maggie Riley, I guess, uh, in the nineties. But um, we wanted to do something like like the Cascada version. She's a German singer, mm. and uh, I don't know. We we loved that song for so many years, and yeah, we just wanted to wanted to try out if it's possible to do a metal version of, uh, of it, and we did it. Mm. But we had some struggle to put it on. We wanted to have it on on our latest record, Techno. Mm. It didn't work. So right now it's a standalone, but uh, it's. I think it's even better. Yeah, because we can celebrate it for the summer festival season. So uh, we released it right before the summer festival season. And uh, for us, it's a good way to give the people something new and uh, something that we can celebrate as well. And it, it's so much fun to play it live. We have played it two or three, two times. Two times yeah, and it's, it's a lot of fun. And the people at Tuska are uh, going to see it today. Oh. So, yeah. And we, we need to, I mean, you just told us uh, the, the number of views. Um, yeah, just thank you. Thank you for so many people out there that are watching that video. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Yeah, um, uh, I read some comments in YouTube on this video and I didn't see one negative comment, like none, zero. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I was just yeah, thinking. Kevin deleted all of them. Have, have, oh, oh, okay. no, no, the thing is, the thing is no, no, there's a special thing about it. Um, when we started this band, we got so many <laughs> negative comments when we started the band in 2010. So YouTube restricted all the negative comments now. So when you try to give a negative comment for Electric Cowboy, it says something like, um, yeah, uh, limit reached. Yeah, you're not Li you, you cannot do it anymore. So this is our success. Get all the shit when you start the band, then you can be more successful uh, in the later years. Okay, because I was going to ask you that, have you actually cracked some code on how to be a band that everyone likes? Oh, no, because no, no. Because no, all no, the no, bands no, no. have lovers and haters. So. I think there are a lot of people out there that are not hating us, but maybe don't know what to do with, with that kind of music. Um, maybe, w but maybe we should n ask Nergal of Behemoth if he likes our music. That would be a challenge. Yes. <laughs> yes. Maybe, maybe you don't know. But, um, yeah, it actually feels like there are not that, you know, back in the day there were like several boundaries. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I'm, I'm listening to that kind of metal and I'm listening to that kind of metal and I'm listening to that kind of metal and I hate everyone that is listening to something else. And right now, I don't know why, but it, it doesn't feel like it's still that way. It feels more diverse and more... Yeah, um, the boundaries are like, gone. Yeah, just celebrating music together, whatever it is. And um, yeah, it's a very good feeling. And I think the people appreciate when you're be it's, and it's not only us, but uh, we learn that it's, it's appreciated when you're authentic, when you just not try to be someone else, when you just do your thing and stand for what you're doing when you like what you're doing and um yeah as nico said that used to be different mm. and i think um yeah we are very lucky to live in a, in a in a time where um diversity pays more and more uh yeah it gets a more and more important role in this yeah. society it's a good moment to do music like this yeah, yeah sure. and uh, you you use quite a lot of humor and uh, uh um, you, you you do funny things uh, and your music is kind of fun so how about humor in your everyday life and in you know touring not at all oh okay <laughs> oh, no we okay. are um <laughs> we are very very serious all the time um I hate laugh laughing. It's not my kind of thing. Um, um, yeah. So they they always force me to be um, to be uh, to be funny. But right now I can tell you it's um, that's not me. I don't believe that. <laughs> uh, thing, thing is, thing is, um, uh, w of course, when you when you have silly ideas for your music, uh, it has to come from somewhere, you know. That means in our creative time, when we're sitting in a studio or at home, we, are, we have th silly thoughts and uh, some go into the music. Uh, from some, our wives have to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, no. but either, way, either way, it's always good to have a good mood, which, which doesn't mean that we not have some bad moods sometimes. You know, everybody has bad moods, but uh, the, the challenge is to overcome that, you know, to... Yeah stay positive and even in bad situation have a positive mind and then everything's a little bit easier you know do you share the same kind of humor in the band or is there differences yeah oh we, we have some differences um we have one guy in that band that is always trying to tell us jokes but nobody's laughing about oh, no. it um i mean still love you but uh the thing is yeah, we. I think we we have the the same kind of humor. Yeah. 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 Maybe you have to have. I think. Yeah. That's that's why we have a huge dick piano on stage because we share that yeah. special sense of humor. I mean, uh, yeah, it's a red one, by the way. You have to look it up uh, on our social media. Not 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 tonight, actually. Mm -hmm. Not today. Couldn't bring it on the plane. They didn't allow us a huge dick piano on the on the on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Although we would have booked the seat for it, but. Yeah. Yeah. What a pity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, now that you did this uh, cover, I I was thinking, if wh whenever you listen to music, do you listen to it like, how would this sound if we did this? Do you have that kind oh, of no, mindset? No, no. Not always. Or not always. just... I mean, I think um, every, every band, nearly every band has a signature sound or a signature voice or 
the signature look or whatever. Um, so it's more like inspiring. So you, you're listening to a band or watching a video and you're thinking like, oh my God, that that's amazing. Listen to the guitar sound or um, how he he's, he's singing um, or how the video is produced. But um, no, no. Yeah. But but this is the thing. Um, uh, when when you're a musician, you you sometimes you can't listen to music not analytical. You know, like when I listen to music, new music, it's like ah, look, uh, uh, did you hear that guitar or yeah, did you hear that different? The, yeah, yeah. And did you did you hear those different voices and stuff like that? And uh, my my wife is always like, what the fuck are you talking about? I can't hear anything. She's She's yeah, absolutely. You, you need to know this guy is like the harmony man. Like, if you if you need a second, a third, a fourth voice. Oh, thank you, Bob. Call him. Call me. Give me a, give me give me a message. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you changed your band's name a bit more than a year ago. Uh, how would you say now that uh, you've been Electric Callboy for a while? How did that you know affect your band's brand or anything? How, do you do you think it? Yeah. And we we were we were so afraid of that whole situation because it happened almost during the pandemic and there were so many challenges that we have to had to take on as a band and um like we we, we thought about all the the different logos we had to change all the different websites and will the people understand it and that's why we by the way did all the YouTube videos to make it understandable for people because we have to confess in Europe this problem doesn't seem too big, you know? It, it, it's more a, a, a problem in societies like in the United States because, yeah, because the, the Inuit actually live there, yeah. you know? But uh, we, we are so happy to have done that because it's the best situation. We, we don't have to struggle with that name anymore. It's, our n new name does fit much more and nobody cared. Nobody cared. Nobody, nobody yeah. cared. Even ourselves is thinking about that old name anymore. It's gone. Yeah, it's just gone. It, 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 it even feels strange when we sometimes hear that old name. It, it sometimes feels so wrong. Yeah, you know. So it's very smooth. Yeah, yeah, wow. absolutely. We're we're very happy to have changed the name. That, that's amazing. Um, yeah, you you mentioned you say you're going to a big tour there now, and as I recall, it's like sold out. Like yeah, nearly. Almost. I think we have few tickets left but yeah. it's nearly sold out yeah yeah have you ever been to the US tour? Uh, I think yeah we have we have toured like in 2013 I guess yeah, yeah 2013 we had a uh, it's been a, a while it's been a while and a, a totally different situation because at that time we we toured um with with uh yeah some hip-hop artists and it was a great tour first experience but it was not our tour now we're headlining and yeah it, yeah and it's immediately it sold out so yeah how do you handle this, you know, fame and the kind of reputation? Oh, I can I can tell you, we, every one of us is over 30 right now, mm. having a family, mm. and we have like 15 years of making music in our back, so it's it's not that it's not that difficult to be honest. Um, sometimes you have that that moments where like is this really happening right now? Mm. But um, every one of us is pretty humble and down to earth and um, yeah I mean we just love what we're doing and we're pretty happy that everything is like it is but right now but it's not like that anybody of us is like wearing their noses over the clouds you yeah. know like yeah. um, and but but it I can t sometimes understand but um, it's it's it's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah our bat our bat members are eating right now in front of our uh, yeah, yes. the thing is, um, I wanted to talk about something deep, and now they're like, "Don't, d d don't just shrug me." Thing is, um, when w uh, the more you get popular, the more you get like successful, the more people try to please you in your surroundings, you know. And it, this means it gets harder sometimes to stay focused, you know. When when you say something, for example, and everybody around you is not criticizing you, like, "Yeah, yeah, best idea." We don't want that. We want people that criticize us that are like, come on, we're criticizing ourselves. Yeah. Be honest and yeah. authentic. Absolutely. But yeah. this is what keeps you on the ground, you know? And this is one thing that this is one challenge that we didn't have. Yeah. 
So just to make, just to be real. And, um, but uh, as Nico said, being humble and, and, and reflecting on how lucky you are and to see what's going on and to appreciate all the small and big things is very important to us to, yeah, to, to, to live that life. Yeah. Uh, now, considering the sold out US tour and uh, so many views in YouTube in so short time, how big impact do you think uh, social media has? Because you are quite active in social media. In my opinion, it's, um, I mean, just compare our time right now to the time where we have like Halfbangers Ball or something uh, on MTV. I mean, it's much easier to promote yourself in 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 the time we are right now um but i don't know i think it's very important it's very important because everybody is using social media everybody's using instagram twitter stuff like that um and i think nobody would notice you as a new band or yeah as a new band if you, if you don't if you if you wouldn't use it so absolutely and i think um Everybody can use social media and everybody nowadays can shoot a music video and, and, and have uh, something on YouTube. Um, but I think the ratio between um, successful and unsuccessful bands stays the same because the, there is more competition, but it's, it's harder to be uh, acknowledged by the people because there are so many. Um, but we absolutely, when we make music, we think uh, um, uh, 3D, like we think in a music video, we think in a live show also. It's not only making music like it used to be, and uh, it, this is uh, this is something that you have to do as a band, a modern band, I think. Yeah, and your, your social media is quite high quality and very well done. How how Thank much you. are you guys behind it, or do you have like team or? Uh, completely. I mean, we have we have a team. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's not only us, but. Um, well, there's shooting videos and shooting yeah yeah but there's there's nothing um that we're not involved in you know um huh we do all our social media uh, postings ourselves except when there are postings yeah 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 oh, exactly yeah but, but the thing is when there are spelling mistakes it wasn't us yeah i would say I, if there are spelling mistakes and the captions That's it good. wasn't us That's good. it was our photographer i would say christian <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, uh, you, you released uh, techno what y last year. Yeah. Uh, are you still enjoying, you know, uh, releasing that, or are you already thinking about some new stuff? Uh, uh, yeah. What's next? You yeah. you just released yeah, uh, yeah, a single is, and um, as a touring band, and we're touring so much, uh, you have to schedule your year. You know, after we released our album techno. The, the first thought was like, when we, can we write new music? When is some, where are some gaps where we can write new music? And the um, thing is, it gets harder and harder because we, usually we are used to sit comfort, uh, comfortably in a, in a studio room, not having any appointments, but this doesn't work anymore. We have to work on tour, we have to work in a bus, we have to work in a hotel room, and, but uh, it, it, it works. It works. Uh, when we have ideas, we try to catch, uh, c um, to capture them on, on, on our mobile phones, for example, just little ideas and then produce them in the studio. And uh, yeah, we're going to start writing a new album pretty soon. So, uh, yeah. Uh, one more question. Do you have any leftover songs from techno? <laughs> we're making music. Yeah, <laughs> we're making music for 13 years, and this is a very interesting question because we always, and I know a lot of bands out there know that situation. When you write a new album, you have A, B, C folders. Like, you write a new song, A folder. Then you write a couple more. Then this one isn't good enough. It's B folder. And so the quality, the best song, um, points out the quality of the record because you want to have only hits on an album. You know. So, we always have leftover songs and we always say we can reproduce and we can take those ideas for the next album because they were... Never happened. Yeah, it okay. never happens. It oh, never happened. Okay. One time, it was one time that we used the song for a next album, but only not because it was not a high quality song. It was more like we didn't dare to take that song on an album. Yeah. And next time we were brave enough, you know, but, but yeah, we always try to do new, make new music. 
so we start waiting for that now and yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey uh, guys have a great show today thank you so we're much. going to see you thank there thank you so much and uh thank you for your time yeah thank you see you thank you